Today, we will get an update on the number of vaping illnesses in our state as doctors work to figure out what's making people sick. Mo Hyder live in Nashville this morning with details of a new federal effort that could help fight the problem. Mo, tell us more about it. Yeah, that's right. I mean, well, many of you probably have heard of National Drug Take Back Day. Well, this year that's going to be a little different. This time, drop off sites are going to be collecting vapes for people to submit. Now, on Saturday, the DA says along with prescription drugs, you can drop off vapes and vaping cartridges and drug take back locations all across Middle Tennessee. Almost every county in our area is participating. For example, just yesterday, you can see right here, Rutherford County started getting the word out. Now again, vaping related illnesses are a growing problem here in the state of Tennessee. The state's health department says there have been nearly 53 cases in our state this year. You do remember last week, the state had its first vaping related death here in Nashville. Something else to note, if you do want to drop off a vape permanent at any of these sites, you do have to go ahead and take out uh, the batteries for it. Also, for a list of drop off locations and find the place near you, you can certainly check my Twitter page. That's mhider underscore NC5. I'm going to have a link for you guys up there shortly. You can see where all the drop off locations are or find the one that is closest to you. In Nashville, Mohider News Channel 5.